Welcome, dear listener, to the Secrets for a Happy Life podcast, born from my desire to share the knowledge I've acquired on leading a better life, interwoven with diverse experiences from my travels, years of studying psychology, and life lessons. I'm Petra Kmetitz Bittens, your guide on this journey on rediscovering joy, productivity, and the essence of living a fulfilled life. Hello and welcome back to Secrets for a Happy Life, your go-to podcast for feeling good and staying positive. I'm Petra Kmetitz Bittens, here to help you understand a bit more about mental health. Now, before we begin, I want to apologize for the sound quality. I am currently stranded on a beautiful but very isolated Socotra Island. But hey, at least I've got plenty of time to contemplate life's mysteries. Thanks for bearing with me through the technical hiccups. We look into what do we mean by term mental health. What are five common signs your mental health is getting better and five signs that your mental health is getting worse? Think of mental health as the foundation of a sturdy house. It's what holds everything together. It's about how we feel, think and get along with others. Understanding it is key to living a happy life and fulfilling life. Mental health is like a roller coaster ride. It has its ups and downs and lots of things can influence it, like our genes, life experiences and what's happening around us. It's not just about not being sick, it's about feeling good and being able to handle life's challenges. At its core, mental health involves a delicate balance between the demands of daily life and the resources we possess to meet these demands. It's not a static state but a dynamic continuum that fluctuates throughout our lives. Now, let's talk about the good stuff. Here are five signs that your mental health is doing well. Good sleep, of course. If you're sleeping well and waking up feeling rested, that's a very good sign. Second one, if you're enjoying your hobbies and having fun doing things you love, means your mental health is in a good place. Feeling less stressed and more relaxed is a positive sign. A noticeable reduction in persistent anxiety or stress, it's a concrete sign of improved mental health. You may experience fewer panic attacks, a lighter emotional burden, and a greater sense of, of calm in challenging situations. Fourth sign is focused mind. If you can concentrate better and think clearly, your mental health is likely improving. And the last, if you want to spend time, more time with your friends and family, that means that you are feeling good about yourself and your relationship. And if you are not feeling so great, that's also okay. Reach out and let's chat. We can figure things out together and get you feeling better in no time. Now, let's talk about the signs that your mental health might need some extra care. If you're keeping to yourself, if you're avoiding socializing and staying away from people, it might mean you're not feeling so great. You might find excuses to skip social events, procrastinate important tasks or avoiding facing issues, all of which can contribute to a negative spiral of declining mental health. Second. If you are too hard on yourself, if you are setting really high standards and being too critical of yourself, can be a sign that you're struggling. If you're feeling physical, like headaches, stomach aches and tense muscles, can all be signs that your mental health needs attention. Your body often reflects what your mind is experiencing. Fourth, trouble thinking. If you're having trouble trouble concentrating or making decisions, it could mean your mental health isn't at its best. And the last one, emotional roller coaster, feeling sad, anxious or angry a lot of the time might mean you're not doing so well emotionally. As we wrap up, remember that it's okay to not be okay sometimes. 
Reach out for help if you need it and take care of yourself. You deserve to feel good. And now here's a mental health related joke to lighten the mood. Why did the therapist bring a ladder to the session? Because they wanted to help their patients reach new heights. <laughs> Thanks for joining me on Secrets for a Happy Life. Until next time, keep growing, keep learning and don't forget to laugh more.